In this video, we're going to use triple integration to work out the volume of this solid. So here you've got a, uh, looking at this equation, you've got a plane here. So in your mind, picture the z-axis and the y-axis. So z-axis and the y-axis. Intercept of 1, a gradient of negative 1. So it looks like this. 1, 1, 1, 1. So it's a straight, li so it's a straight line here. The absence of an x would mean that you're going to get a trace along the x-axis. So looking at this line here, drag it parallel to the x-axis. So you're going to get a plane, a slanted plane. You're going to get this slanted plane uh, given by this equation. And then if you look at the uh, y equals square root of x, so that's this line here. If you shoot straight up, vertically straight up in the z direction, where the square root intersects with that plane earlier, with that plane earlier, it's going to be along this line here. So now it forms a, uh, a 3D solid. Our job is to work out the volume of this 3D solid. So we can set up, um, we can set up dv as dz, dy, then dx, or you can do it as dx, dy, uh, dz. You can do it whichever way you want, dz, dx, dy. You can do it whichever way, whichever way you want. You can set up D, dv whichever way you want, as long as the, uh, the limit of integration is correct. Okay, so, so for me, I'm just going to use uh, dz, dy, and dx. So if I'm going to use dz first, then it's going to be z equals something, z equals something. And uh, well, if, if I'm using dz first, it means that I'm moving vertically upwards like this, parallel to the, to the uh, z-axis. So I'm going to move up like this. I'm going to move up like this. I'm going to move up like this. So if I'm going to move up like this, I'm going to start at z equals 0, because it's on the xy plane. So z equals 0. And then I'm going to move vertically upwards. And then I'm going to hit the surface, let's say right here. And then, uh, so, so I'm, I'm really integrating from z equals 0 to the plane, which is this thing here. So, um, so if, if I start at the surface, uh, at the xy plane, and then I'm going to hit the surface somewhere around here. Uh, and then if, if I start here, I'm going to hit the surface somewhere here. Or, or if I start here, I'm going to hit the surface somewhere here. And then if I start here, I'm going to hit the surface somewhere here. So I'm, I'm integrating from, from uh, a level of z equals 0 to a level of z equals the plane. So that would be 1 minus y. Uh, so so that's, that's done for the z. Now looking at the y. So if I'm using dy here, it's going to be y equals something. y equals something. So let me just clear, clean this up. So in terms of the y, um, I'm going to move along the y-axis. I'm going to move parallel to the y-axis. I'm going to move parallel to the y-axis. But if you look at this, I start at the at here. I start at square root of x, which is this curve here. And then I will stop when I get to to y equals 1. To y equals 1. Because um, let's say I'm here. I will start here, square root of x. And then I will stop at 1. I will stop at 1. Let's say I'm moving here. I will start at here, which is square root of x. And I will stop at 1. I will stop at 1. Now look, so that's uh, these two done. Now let's look at the uh, dx. So dx would mean x equals something, x equals something. Well, I'm scanning through from x equals 0, this is x equals 0 right here. Uh, I'm scanning all the way through like this. And then x is scanning from, from x equals 0 to x equals wherever this place may be. Well, if you look at um, uh, square root y equals square root of x, um, if this has a height of 1, if this has a height of 1, then this must be 1, meaning that this is also 1, this bit here. So I'm integrating from, hang on, let's start again. Let me clear this up. Let me just clear this up. So I'm scanning all the way like this. I'm scanning all the way like this. I'm scanning all the way like this. So I start at x equals 0. And then I'm, I'll, I'll stop scanning when I get to 
here, which would be 1. So I'm scanning from x equals 0 to x equals 1. So the volume is given by this thing here. So the volume is given by by this thing here. So now it's just a matter of us integrating this. So looking at z, let's integrate this with respect to z. So that would be z from from 0 to 1 minus y, from 0 to 1 minus y. So now we would put this into the z, take away, put this into here, which would be 0. So that would then take us to here. So now, now, uh, now looking at um, the y integral, integrate this with respect to y. So that would then give us y. This would then give us y squared over 2 from square root of x to 1. 2, 1. So now uh, now we are currently here, so we would put 1 into here, put 1 into here, that would be a half, and then take away, put this into here, that would then give us this, and then you've got take away a negative here, so that would be a positive, and put square root of x into here, so that would be x over 2. So that would then take us to here. And then, and then um, merge these two together. Rewrite the square root as this, and uh, and now integrate it. So when you integrate this, it will then give you this. Uh, integrate this, it will then give you this. Integrate this, it will then give you this. From zero to one, from zero to one. So now, uh, now it's uh, you putting this into here which would be a half. Put this into here. That would be um, this thing here. And then put this into here. That would then be this thing here. Put zero into each of these, it would be zero. So that would then take us to here. Tidy this up, and, it's, uh, and the volume is one over 12, okay?